Hello, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Help Act Group, I would like to thank the organizers for this invitation. And I would like to uh, try and get the big picture. Because you might ask yourselves, why Hellenic Petroleum talk about work, water, energy, our life, everything is interconnected. And mainly they are interconnected to the great problem that we should tackle today. I'm talking about climate change. Climate change leads to lack of water, to a drought, to a change, if you wish, of all the factors that we uh, knew until today, more than 50% of migration uh, is by following the waterways and this is caused due to greenhouse effects. Energy is the solution in order to give a new dimension to this area. Now, when it comes to energy transition, what does it mean? It means that we should change our mindset and our way of consuming, producing, and generally speaking, to change and adopt a worldview that will mean that we will respect nature, re natural resources, and how we interact with them. So what has changed? During the recent pandemic and after the recent COP26 in Glasgow, uh, some things have changed. We try to use energy in such a way that will allow us to decrease this carbon footprint. We invest more in renewable energy sources, not only help it, but generally humankind. And of course, we also try to reduce, apart from CO2 emissions, energy waste, so to say, water waste, and uh, on the level of resources. Helpec Group, in our refineries, because we are one of the biggest consumers of water, and the same goes for every energy consumption or production uh, or refineries, a large part of that water is water which is recycled. We always try not to waste water. Helpec Group is trying to implement this energy transition. We have announced it last summer. We have adopted a realistic approach. And this transition will change uh, everything that we took as granted. This transition is based on five pillars. First of all, redefining our strategy regarding ESG. ESG refers to environment strategy and governance. And also regarding the reduction of CO2 emission, we try to change our governance and we have a new uh, identity. We are called Hellenic Petroleum. Next year, petroleum will not be included in our name. We are transitioning and reborn as a big new energy group. Energy will continue being part of our operations and by growing we introduce a lot of things. We improve our competitiveness, we reduce our CO2 footprint and therefore we become more accessible and funding becomes more accessible and financing becomes more accessible to us because nowadays banking institution gives you money if you reduce your uh, CO2 footprint and of course we try to be leaders in the renewable energy sources sector since renewable energy sources 
is a very big area that one can, apart from investing, create new social and consumption models. Our refinery is a hub. a hub, and we can use all the available technologies that we have, clean hydrogen, biofuels, the use of biomass in order to um, stop using uh, fossil fuels, we try to have clean energy and in our stations we'll try to uh, boost electromobility and everything else relevant. We try everything that is waste, everything that is second-hand, so to say, to reuse it within the framework of circular economy. And we want to produce added value and at the same time reducing wastes. Our group invests in the renewable energy sources. Here you can see some pictures. And I will explain you. We invest hundreds of millions of euros. And we are widening our portfolio by adding uh, new power plants, wind farms, etc., and solar uh, panels. And right now, we are trying to grow when it comes to offshore wind farms, uh, which means wind farms within the sea, try and produce biofuels of the next generation. In Thessaly, we have a large footprint, which means that in Trikala, not in Sofavis and Gardits, I apologize, we have a photovoltaic park of 9 megawatts, 230 stremas, which is rather small compared to 208 megawatt park that has already been licensed and has been developed uh, here in Trikala. The place is, this is situated within the borders with the municipality of Trikala. In Fasala, more 190 megawatts. This park has already been licensed, but we haven't received yet environmental licensing. And here, uh, and this is only concerns Thessaly. In Kozani, right now, we are concluding on a very large uh, plot of land, 204 megawatts, which is the largest RES project in Greece right now. The largest photovoltaic uh, project in Greece that will start operating early next year. This is an impressive image, just watching at it. And we also invest in new technologies, which means that we invest in electromobility, a per future uh, company that we have founded, uh, which uses fast charging, fast charging uh, stations, equipment, in Trikala and in Larissa, at the station of ECHO, we have such a charger. In Volos, also uh, in BP stations, and also at the National Road of Egeo. We want to promote electromobility in order to uh, have a, in order to reduce our CO2 footprint, we invest in energy saving in batteries uh, of 300 megawatts, for example. We invest in green hydrogen, which will be produced by renewable energy sources, photovoltaic, uh, also wind farms that will be implemented within our refinery in Elefsina, which will be converted in very low carbon footprint refinery. The same goes for blue hydrogen, which uh, captures uh, CO2. And we will also uh, ha have another investment planning, 
which will use bio oils and uh, biofuels, unfortunately I'm out of time, which is uh, an investment of 17 million of euros. And of course, everything uh, that is innovative, uh, all new technologies uh, in, are interesting to us. When we try to use energy as a tool in order to fix the great problems, uh, we can understand that also the local problems are start in, are uh, beginning to improve. Thank you very much.